What's up guys, Ivan here. Right now I'm staying at home like pretty much everyone else and I was in the middle of uh, preparing my meal, I was cooking and I got this package. Right there. And to be completely honest with you, I have no idea what could be inside. I wasn't expecting any gear, products, whatever, because you know, I'm staying at home because of the virus. So I don't know what's inside and I'm hungry. Like I said, I was cooking. So we're going to do a pretty spontaneous and rough unboxing video. I'm going to put a camera on the floor and then get on with it because I'm also curious to see what's inside. Like I said, this is going to be pretty rough. I don't have any of my lights here on, but I've got my knife. So we're going to open the box and see what's inside. <laughs> okay, now I know what's inside. <laughs> At this what it says it's an ivory base <laughs> damn <laughs> nice dude so first of all we've got some allen wrenches that's always good to have and <laughs> what we all want to see is that you kind of kind of kind of see it already through the base, but let's get it out. <laughs> Look at this, man! Look at this one. The neck is super smooth. Um, just uh, for you guys to know, this is a short scale base. It's a Tolman, I have this Tolman base, short scale base. Awesome. Um, let's hook it up real quick and see how it sounds like because I, I'm curious also myself. Look at the wood, man. Look at the fingerboard. Sweet. Okay guys, so I've set up everything super quick. Um, as you can see, this is the base, uh, the Tolman short scale base. I really like the color. And um, I've got a, a couple of comments of some people that I haven't been addressing like flaws, like sharp fret, fret edges or something. And for example, this base costs, I think, $170 or 70 euros, and it hasn't any sharp edges. I, mean, I can pass my finger here, it doesn't hurt, it's super smooth. So, just to be clear, if I was to find a fault or something on a base, I definitely mention it. Um, just to get that out of the way. This is a cheap base, but it feels super solid. The neck is really smooth, so... The only thing I've done so far is tune it with Logic. Uh, I haven't listened to the bass. I don't know how it sounds. I'm going to turn on my amp and then see how it sounds like. Um, uh, right now, both pickups are on. Tone control is fully open and this is a passive bass. So we'll see. <laughs> Just the neck pickup. Just the bridge, in case that single call, you can hear some hum there. Nice. 
mais. The P pickup is definitely a lot more powerful than the J one. You can see if I just solo the J. If I blend in. Just a P. It's um grab a pick real quick. Just a P. Dude, this bass growls. Um, it's crazy, and it costs nothing. <laughs> and to be um, let me. I'm like my brain is kind of slow right now. <laughs> the neck profile is really, really comfortable. If you dig in too hard, you definitely get some. Some rattling, this is a short scale bass, right? Dude, the P pickup is amazing. So, thank you guys for watching. I know this was like a super rough unboxing episode. I wasn't expecting the product, so like, you know, I'm, and I'm, you know, my food is still there waiting for me. I'm really hungry. <laughs> but let me know what you think in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to your channel. And the full review of the Ibanez TMB30 short scale base. Take care.